there'd be a hole there. Um, so, but what Bernini does is it takes a sketch or text, right? So we could do something like snail lamp. Um, and it will generate a 3D model or several versions of a 3D model. Um, and the way scientifically that we do this is we use a wavelet compression method. So we take a three, you know, we take the 2D representation or the text or voxels or point clouds, and we then kind of compress that into like a, cons it's ones and zeros, but you can think of it as like a concept for what this thing is. Um, for what it's learned from seeing millions and millions of examples and then it generates a 3d model so here a snail lamp so it's it's compositional um in that right it can compose the two concepts together sort of is a snail that looks or a lamp that looks like a snail um, and we generate several of them um, one of the other things that we do it's a little bit different than other 3d generation that you're seeing out on the market is that we separate the texturing from the geometry. So everything my team does is very geared towards generating 3D geometry because it needs to be precise for manufacturing, it needs to be precise for building stuff. And so um, the texturing, although it looks cool, so when you see other, other people's 3D generation, it's like, ooh, colors and texture. Um, the texture actually hides a lot of imperfections in the geometry. And so for us, like seeing you know, little, little sort of uh, imperfections there in the geometry is important to us um, so we can get better.